Don in London, hello. It's June thirtieth. Sun shining. What's that got to do with my video? Nothing except it makes me happy. Yeah, a bit of sunshine. I don't have to be in it, but it's good to have it around me. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour, and my addictive substance was and would be alcohol. My behaviour could be equally addictive around people, places and things. Trying to be in the right place, with the right people, doing the right things. And I don't drink anymore, one day at a time. So an alcoholic in recovery. And that's been the case for some years now. And I never thought it would be possible to stop drinking for one day. It never occurred to me to stop drinking, ever, during my drink drinking days. Until near the end, of course where well, I just couldn't stop drinking. So from somebody who found drink convivial, reliable, fixed me, fixed my feelings, took the edge off, made life all right, it got me in the end. And I was powerless over it. I was powerless and I could not stop. And life was completely unmanageable. And I don't know how many times it took me to the brink of complete ruin and an end to life. And I'm really, really pleased to be able to say there is a solution, but I could not do it on my own. So over the years, I've relied on family, friends, community, professional people, and come to understand what it is to be a part of a fellowship which is dedicated to helping people be sober, and that's Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't speak for AA, never can, never will. It's full of unique, authentic people who speak where they will about their recovery. And the an anonymity bit is sac sacrosanct, like anything, where we need confidentiality to find out what the truth is about ourselves. So Alcoholics Anonymous provided me with groups to attend and meetings where I could share the truth of how life was and is for me today. What a relief. But AA is not the only way. Uh, An AA actually tries to be inclusive suggesting that if you have a desire to stop drinking why not come along and see what's going on and I can I can and I can endorse that as a human being but just as me saying it worked for me there are other ways my videos cover the 12 steps in action that is the 12 step toolkit a, a, a set of principles if you like a way to live life and so life can work and we get our freedom of choice back in life as life is. It doesn't mean that life is going to be wonderful all the time or horrible all, all the time. We all have ups and downs in life but we can meet it better head on sober. So we don't have to take the edge off, we don't have to try and fit in, we get our choices based on reality, the reality of our situation as it is today. So I'm relieved and it's worked well for me over the last few years. I was very lucky to go with a dear friend to a meeting last night uh, at the start of my journey, back, back some eight years I guess, where I realised that I was addicted, could not stop, my life was coming to an end and uh, I went down to South London to a meeting where I started to hear people talk about what is sobriety, the experience, strength and hope of living without drink. And it was good to see some people still there, still in recovery, and still living life on life's terms. Some experiences great and fantastic, and some absolutely awful, where grief takes over, and death happens, and the worst of life can happen. But overall, they're still alive and kicking, and still in recovery. So I'm really grateful to be able to go there and see people I know, see new people, and have respect for the newcomer who is starting on a journey of living life as it is, real, without fixing it or trying to take the edge off. Indeed, what is real life? It took me a long time to find out what it might be. And these days I've learned how to find out who I am or have a better idea of who I am by the end of the day. And the, the fellowship program of 12 Steps, uh, which is supported by 12 Traditions, keeping the fellowship operating and running well keeps the opportunity open for people to keep on learning. So here I share some of the learning I get over the years and uh, other videos follow on the long version of this. 
Um, today is all about, in the daily reflections from AA, it's all about Tradition 6. Uh, being June, I've co concentrated on the sixth step, which is about having our defects removed. That's the extremes of behaviour which are unhelpful to us. And tra tra Tradition 6, which reads th as this. An AA group ought never endorse, finance or lend the AA name to any related facility or outside enterprise lest problems of money, property and prestige divert us from our primary purpose. And the primary purpose is to help people stop drinking, or people, to help people get sober who have a desire to stop. So the primary purpose is about a desire to stop, and the fellowship is there to support that, and have no outside influences, or to affiliate with any outside influences. So it is there for one reason, nothing else not to make uh, me or anybody else feel that they've got prestige or any better idea. So this is one voice in recovery, just one voice, so there are many voices which I listen to each day to help me keep sober and as a newcomer find sobriety and wonder how on earth they did it. And it wasn't easy. It's a simple program for complicated people. And one of the things I noticed and remembered very very strongly last night is that fellowship program is about emotional and spiritual well-being that is understanding our feelings and living in the moment of now so that if we understand what our feelings are saying to us if we know what the feelings are we have and they are the same size as the moment of now that is my feelings fit my experience of now then my brain is probably operating quite well so when I know I feel right about what's going on around me and there's no other big history piling in to say it ought to be like this or it's a calamity because I remember how it used to be when it was like this. If I'm just experiencing and feeling the moment as it is then life is on track. And it reminds me of, um, it's the difference, if you try and think yourself well or rather think and analyse about life you may get an understanding about the process or what life is, what is happening in life but if we don't feel it as it is then we're missing out so it's like a, a song if you like what was it I was thinking about yesterday I think I love you which was a, bit, a great pop song and it was sung well by David Cassidy I think I think I love you rather than what was I thinking of? How was I thinking? I feel it's. I'm finding difficulty in expressing it, but it was there on the tip of my tongue earlier this evening, or rather last night. What is it? I feel love for you, or yeah, rather than I think I love you, which is a thinking process, intellect. I feel loving towards you, or I feel love for you it's a feeling, love is a feeling, it's an emotion so the more we try and think our feelings the more we get into difficulty which is why I had to pause and stop how does it feel to be in love? fantastic but if I, if I have to say I think I'm in love I think I love you it's thinking, it's not actually a being or doing so love is a, an action in how we express it and how we are intimate with people either physically or spiritually just in the moment of now with them same thoughts well, no, same feelings and then we think about it even now I find it hard to, to understand sometimes but AA is about feelings and living in the moment one day at a time and if we try and think our way through it as if we were some sort of mechanical mechanical robot or we can control feelings then we start to live in a different way which is we ought, we should, we could, we might but if we're actually loving in the moment of now rather than I think I ought to love you in the moment of now or I think I love you it's not a thinking either you do or you don't a feeling is what it is and that's the thing I had to learn because I thought I ought to be a certain way 
and I thought if I tried to be the way you wanted me to be I'd be acceptable and then you would love me or if I behaved this way you would love me for it rather I am this way and you can either love me or not it's not a choice we, our feelings are not actually what we choose we just have them and then we try and make sense of them so we can always be living slightly in the past it's like when somebody expresses love towards us and then we're so shocked we go shy and we don't know how to deal with it rather than just accept this person loves me it doesn't mean we're going to be able to love them back you know that's something that happens over time maybe or is never going to happen because they just aren't that way inclined towards us so life is funny in that respect but the thing is we also learn to respect other people's feelings so if we say I love you to someone it doesn't mean they're going to love us back indeed they may be unable to love us back because they're full of love for other people already and they have no capacity and probably no inclination but it works that way we love as an emotion we don't have to think it and if we're having to think it if it's creating a lot of effort to try and be a certain way to be loved I guess it's probably not going to work out and that's good it keeps me on track and it also stops me asking myself well why doesn't somebody love me when I, I'm totally attracted to them and I want them in all respects well life is like that and if we can let go and say okay you know, the object of how we feel, or rather, how we feel about a person doesn't mean they're going to feel the same way. We accept a lot sooner, let go, and then move on. And find love it just happens naturally in some other way, shape, or form. Anyway, thoughts from years gone by, and today as well. AA is all about inclusion, to help those with a desire to stop drinking, find a path to sober living. The more we include everyone, the more we are enriched with experience, strength and hope. Humans are unique and authentic. In AA, one similarity holds us together, always respecting diversity. So that one similarity, a desire to stop drinking and hopefully stay stopped, is only a one-day program. But everybody is unique and authentic and we need to respect diversity. And that's absolutely important or we become exclusive. I have heard many a time people say, you're not a real alcoholic, or I'm a real alcoholic like, like the first 100 people who got sober with the program or the 12 steps of AA. Well, that's exclusivity, and it's also judging others, which is not helpful. So anyone with a desire to stop, that's the inclusion bit, no rules, regulations or laws, and then we go as we can, finding out how to be sober with the experience, strength and hope shared by everyone. And yesterday was great. I took a trip down memory lane to a meeting I attended about eight years ago. Some new faces and some old faces still sober today. Respect for newcomers and smiles with old timers. That's how it was. We are all sober one day at a time. It is good to be a day timer, equal in the moment of now, because we all exist in this one day. We are day timers. So regardless of whether it was eight years ago and I'm still here, or it's just today that I've started and listening to the experience, strength and hope of newcomers last night in a meeting which I haven't been to for so many years it was good I went there with a dear friend and it was great we had a good, la good talk on the way there and a good talk on the way back anyway, going on from previous years <coughs> keeping our side of the street clean that is what we do, that's what the 12 steps are there to do it makes us a good judge of our own behaviour and our attitudes part of the promises is we clean house every day with step 10 which is what's disturbing us today, what have I made, done to make it worse or what could I have done better and then doing a gratitude list to balance it all out step 8 and 9 is letting go old behaviour and the insanity of keeping secrets and telling lies nurturing anger and resentments open, honest and willing, we make progress today. So I don't know what was on my mind, but step eight is making a, making a list of people we could make amends to and being willing to make them. And step nine is letting go old behaviour and the insanity of keeping secrets and telling lies, nurturing anger and resentments. 
because if we are keeping secrets because we're ashamed or guilty in some way and we don't share the truth of what went on and how we are today how on earth do we make progress but we don't set out to harm other people in the process all these steps are about understanding ourselves not judging others but the problem is the more we understand ourselves and how we behave in our attitudes we also see the attitudes and behavior of other people around us but we're not here to put them right we're here to make the best choices we can with what we understand of ourselves so open honest and willing we make progress today I put a question mark on the end of that and the answer is yes as long as I'm looking at what I'm doing rather than what the rest of the world is is supposed to do in relation to what I'm doing because it's not supposed to be doing anything life and coping strategies in recovery our life plan can be what we choose step 10 daily inventory of what worked and what blocks it step 11 daily meditation as simple as the serenity prayer and step 12 all the steps in practice daily ah the the sound of bottles crashing into the bin they're clearing out the empties from the restaurant so the daily thing of step 10 what disturbs us step 11 how does prayer and meditation work in my life well simply to reflect and consider how I am today and what is going to help me and asking for help which normally comes through the wisdom of others and if there is a God, God works through people because more people know more about life than I do and step 12, all, all the steps in practice daily and sharing the message and it's all about less coping and more living in the now and actually coping in the moment of now when life is tough is, is pretty darn good and uh, you know I've got three conditions now not wanting to brag but uh, alcoholic chronic condition type 1 diabetes chronic condition disease as well and clinical depression which is considered chronic and a disease so all three why is it that I get some sort of serenity and peace around life simply those 12 steps in the toolkit of the fellowship first of all to be alive to be sober second of all long enough alive to get type 1 diabetes and third long enough to be diagnosed properly around my clinical depression and emotional state and how it can be depressed for long periods unless I get practical and medical support whatever it happens to be all good I'm going to leave it there oh wait a minute what's this yes I will continue just for a few moments we all need our outside interests or life would have no meaning our self opinion and self belief faith all unique to each of us need to be honoured that means I need to honour my life and the lives of those people around me but I'm not trying to control them or bend them to my will 12 steps to work 12 traditions offer sanctuary and spiritual living fellowship prevails in unity and service our primary purpose is sobriety it's not to judge how other people get sober so AA is not the only way either that's what I know and AA and fellowship the way it is written and understood as the steps and traditions is all about inclusion anyone with a desire to stop drinking is welcome what we don't want to do is put barriers up or exclusions or suggest that some people are this type of alcoholic or that type of alcoholic it's not that, that is not the question nor the judgment it's a desire to stop drinking and then inclusion from all walks of life because everyone is unique and authentic with one similarity in this case a fellowship with a desire to help people stop drinking as to the finer points of life well that's a personal choice as to how people get sober is a personal choice as to how people are it's not for me to judge the serenity prayer helps me always in these respects it's to God or good conscience or to whatever is your higher power or just a, an, ex, an expression of a desire to understand what I can and cannot do daily and learn some wisdom so to God 
or in good conscience, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, for me, is just for today.